Hello there. We will do some troubleshooting today for the internet connections. What I've seen, many of the tutorials on the internet, they don't go deep either, or uh, they don't tell you how to troubleshoot exactly. Um, of course, you need to get yourself familiar with uh, ping and traceroute, but to interpret the output to know what exactly happening is the uh, the art of the work. So let's get started. I will try to find my IP address. I'm using a MacBook, so you can see all the commands are based on Linux, but you can find the same thing in Windows. Uh, I'm going to show you a two called MTR. Okay, so this is my IP address. So if I want to find my default gateway, I just do net state rn. Then I'm going to find my default gateway. So my default gateway is, is that guy. Okay, so you see they are on the same sub. Uh, Subnet. So I'm gonna give it a quick ping. Oh, it jumps to 50 milliseconds. So you see, um, this is my home router. Uh, I'm going through a wireless, and this is you see the, the, the one and two milliseconds and six. So you see the, the variance uh, are quite big and 15 milliseconds. So but that but this doesn't mean there's a problem on the network, okay? So the best will be if you find a IP address that is very stable, like uh, a real server that has lots of power. Uh, normally when you ping a or ping or trace route, when you go through those routers and the hops, they don't give you a real listic uh, latency okay so you have to ping a real server you, you know that that is not busy doing some other stuff but can answer your ping in a uh, in a let's say in a time not is is able to answer your ping quickly okay so he's not been doing some other tasks that artificially delay the response okay I'm, I used to ping this this IP address in Europe okay that's 141.1.1.1 I know this server and I know it gives you a consistent response so you see when I ping that server it didn't give you this such a big jumps okay well 30 33 hmm not so well. Okay, I can also give you a uh, give the minus C, so I can can ping the box for ten times, and then later on it gives you a summary of the the statistics. So let it wait to stop. Okay, eight nine. So okay, here. So you see the minimum is fifteen milliseconds, and then your average is twenty one milliseconds. The max is forty. Okay. So your standard deviation is seven milliseconds. Okay, so that's all right. That's all right. Okay, so um, let's see how do I get there. Okay, so suck. Okay, so now you you know you're probably knowing my IP address. Um, okay, I'm sitting behind. Cable server. Cable server is a cable company in Germany, and uh, and you see that uh, they are using this guy as their provider. I think uh, cable server using this guy as a provider, and then that provider just hand over the my packet to Vodafone, uh, and Vodafone gave that. I mean. Cable wireless. So this server belongs to Cable Wireless before, and now I think is part of 
whatever, and that's why it gets to whatever, okay? Uh, let's quickly find out who this is, the backbone, and what you do is just who he is, okay? Let's see if we can find somebody owns that network. Okay, so this guy is called Core Backbone AES, that's from AES33891. Um, okay, and you see the Core Backbone GmbH that's based in Germany. So you ever run into problems, you can send them an email, okay, saying your network has a problem. But before you say that, you have to be sure that um, your diagnosis are correct. So again, I'll show you another tool, much better than the trace route. This give you it will give you a realistic picture of how your latency uh, like. So this is the command. So th that's the program MTR. Okay. So I'm going to do a continuous trace trace route to the one for one dot one dot one dot one. I'm not sure if I'm using UDP packets or ICMP or I'm not sure how MTR works, but it gives you a very good sort of result. Okay, so here. Okay, so it's continuously monitoring the network, and you can see now how latency is, is on every other hubs, and ref the screen is refreshing all the time. Okay. So this is what I'm saying before. Look, if you would think that uh, there's a much higher standard deviation on this hop, okay, and and this is probably the first uh, cable, so the service provider router. I, I guess this is a, uh, a CMTS uh, router, okay, um, because it's behind the CMTS. Maybe this is a, some kind of intermediate hop even be, before the CMTS. So it, it goes to 158 milliseconds. You will think, oh my god, I have a problem on that hop. That's wrong, okay, because this hop, um, it, 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 even though it is responding to your, your trace route, but it's not the guy that you want to reach, okay, and uh, He's using his CPU to answer your request. So he might be busy with other stuff and artificially delay that response. And that's why you see that there's a problem. But you, if you look at this guy, that, that's the, the, the final guy you want to reach. So you see the standard deviation is only 4.8. So that means the whole pass has no problem. Okay, has no problem at all. So. You see that the worst is 36 milliseconds, uh, best 14, average is 18, okay? And starting that deviation is only 4.5. So, not a problem. But I'm going to show you where you, re you, you see the real delay. So that means from my PC uh, going to uh, this Kevin Water server, uh, in the best is 14 milliseconds. So we are really 14, it took 14 milliseconds to get to this router, to, to the server, okay. So, but then I, I'm going to show you something like really interesting. So, um, if I do a trace route, let's say to a Chinese host in the far, far east. So, let's just do cnet.com. Ooh, and you see that consistent. So now uh, the packet leaves the continent, okay, European continent. So it gets to, uh, but you see here, this, you see this pattern here, okay. That's, defin that's definitely not due to uh, the box is too busy uh, to answer your request. That's wrong. But you see that, you see here is all, let's say, uh, uh, you get to this box is about 17 milliseconds and the but well, the best okay 7 milliseconds sorry 7 milliseconds once it gets over so from where from Munich so the packet went to my service provider that's the cable server 
And cable server, I think the level three is their uh, their uh, their service provider. So cable server gives the packet to le level three, and from level three, Munich gets to Los Angeles. Ooh, hoo, hoo, that's just one big hop. Uh, probably there's some hops in between that is hidden. You don't see it, but you see from Munich to Los Angeles. That's about 153 milliseconds delay time and you see this is consistent after Los Angeles you see all the hops are going up okay so this is the trick so if you see um, the trace has a consistent pattern in the in the best metric here so it jumps from 7 to 160 then you know that's not artificially uh, distorted by the routers uh, but the router or networking equipment uh, CPU. Okay, so hopefully that helps. See you next time.